Greetings! My name's Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And welcome back to... Jackass in a Castle. Uh, last time, we had some good news. We dealt... Uh, we, uh, we found a big-ass door. We... Uh, and, and, even better, Bunny got caught. Yeah! <laughs> no, wait, that might not actually be good news, because now we might actually have to interact with Bunny. Yeah. Well, let's hope. Here's hoping, alright? Oh yeah, we also got to know- uh, learn the name of that- of that guard guy. Galiathos, or Goliathos, or something like that. He seems cool. Uh, even though he is- is- sort of dropping his spaghetti every time we meet, but oh well. Anyways. Yeah. The days fly by as I help cook and clean. I'm making sure no one sees me taking any extra breaks. But I do take them, because screw this place. <laughs> Quite so. Good work again today! You're a big help! How tragic. I wish there were more toys like you here! Oh dear. Lo uh, the standards are in the gutter, aren't they? She has no idea what she just wished for. It's tough running this place understaffed! Uh, ahem, er. What is it, Goliathos? So that's his name. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is. I guess technically he never actually got his name. It was just implied that that was his name. Heavily implied, admittedly. Yes, I mean, no. Um. We. We're getting a new employee! Oh! Finally! For what? Who is it? Jack has hired himself a right hand man. Hmm. Next up, he's gonna hire himself a left hand man. But Jack is the right hand man. Hmm. Now that implies some strange mutant hands. Hands with hands. Will the right will his right hand man also get a right hand man? And then that'll get a right hand man? When will it end? Not the perils of delegation for you, I suppose. Um, um, I uh I'm just here to let you know. Oh, isn't this just great? One more mouth to manage. And here I got my hopes up! His name is Sylvester Sound. Oh, that's what the guy's last name is. He'll work- uh, he'll walk- work here starting tomorrow. Walk? Okay, that's an odd thing to mispronounce, but alright. <laughs> Sylvester, huh? Sylvester? Yeah. Like I said. <laughs> that is all. Uh... So, uh, good day. The guard stumbles away. This means Jack wants us to make everything look all nice and neat for this new guy. Do you do that for me too? Haha! <laughs> Goodness, no! Oh. <laughs> the right hand man is someone important who helps him manage everything. Jack likely wants us to impress someone he's chosen for such a high position. Honestly, what is Jack thinking? He's not the king. I guess advisors need advisors too. How dare he act like he is. Uh, I mean, if the king's not gonna act like that, like that, someone has to, I suppose. Well, no, actually. We no, no one has to. Technically speaking, we could- we don't- we don't need a king. We could go full... anarchy. Which seems to be more or less how things are going, honestly. Jack doesn't seem to be really doing much ruling. But then again, I don't- I don't really see much of what he does on a day-to-day -day basis. I listen to a rant about the missing king the rest of the day while we work. She doesn't notice I take some crackers for Bunny. <sighs> Hi there. Oh my goodness, it's food! 
No, it's Marion. <laughs> but uh, you should remember my name better. That wasn't anywhere near close. Bunny eats with all the elegance of a starving toy. Thanks, dear. They aren't giving me anything but water. Really? I should have brought you actual food then. I won't deny that, but I'm grateful for what I got. It's just crackers, though. Just crackers? Someone didn't grow up hungry. I'll get you something better the next chance I get. <laughs> Thank you, love. I, I ain't your love, buddy. <laughs> anyway. What's Sylvester's last name? Sound? Yeah, it's Sound. You know, he's like an aristocrat or something. Huh, I had no idea. No wonder he's such, uh, um... I shouldn't say anything, but he is his friend. I might have said him. Such an up uppity, boring, pretentious little prick, right? Hey, fuck you! <laughs> Never mind. Something like that. Sylvester is great! You both suck. Anyway, I mean, he was terrible, absolutely abysmal at comforting people. Admittedly. But still, no one's perfect, except me. Anyway, I heard Sylvester is starting as Jack's right-hand man. Ooh, that traitor. I sincerely doubt that's what's going on. How'd he get such a high position then, huh? Obviously, he's, you know, infiltrating the, the, his confidences, you know? That's probably why he was so uncertain as to when we see each other again. He wasn't sure how easily he could get the... Uh, how quickly he could get the position, not to mention how quickly he could actually... You know, obvious things. Uh... I have no idea. You really think he turned on us? No. It's Sylv. He's all stuck up and way too caught up in his own principles, you know? Are you, impl are you implying you aren't? And that you would betray us if you had the opportunity? Yeah, maybe I'm reading too much into that. How should I know? I just met him recently. Aha! Uh -huh. That's right, you don't know him, do you? Well, if I know my uh, visual novels, all of a day is perfect is a perfectly reasonable time frame to know uh, to know a person intimately to the point of being their best friend and and knowing everything important about them. Then again, that might just be because most characters in visual novels don't really have much to know about them. Uh, never mind. But anyways, I just said I did. Oh yeah. Sorry, my brain's all fuzzy. I'm not sure you have one, to be frank. I really should get you some food. I steal some of today's leftovers for Bunny. It's cold, but he doesn't mind. <laughs> It'd be a bit silly to be complaining about that when you when it's obviously a step up from having nothing. <laughs> If I fall asleep right now, I can still get four hours of sleep. Yeah. Oh, naturally. Marion! It is our Sylvester. Why on earth are you still awake? Well, I wouldn't be if you hadn't knocked on the door. Uh, well, um... I was just, uh... Were you, wait, were you planning on waking me up? Just to be a cad? Is that why you're upset? Um, I've clearly been blessed with the ability to talk my way out of any situation. Well, no matter. In fact, that's great! Meet my new right-hand man! My name is Sylvester Sound. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you. Sylvester will be helping me out from now on. You make sure he knows what's what around here. I don't know what's what around here. <laughs> Understood. Oh, 
Also, fix him a room somewhere while you're at it. Now, it's midnight. Indeed it is. Don't you think Sylvester wants to go to bed soon? Right. I'll leave you to it. My apologies, Marion. I'm showing up out of the blue like this. No worries. Me and Jack were drinking some wine to celebrate our partnership. But we didn't notice the time. I told you, don't worry about it. I wasn't even sleeping or anything. I suppose. Come on, let's go find you a room. Would this be fine? Absolutely. Sylvester helps me clean the room up, even though he wouldn't have to. I guess he wants to go to sleep before dawn. <laughs> so, if you don't mind me asking... Yes? How did you manage to get hired so fast, and to such a position? Well, I don't know if it was fast. For all we know, he could have been trying to get hired for weeks. It, seem it seems Jack really enjoys the music from my orchestra. I've occasionally chatted with him after a show. Ah, see? He's been, a he's been a angling. He's been working the angle for ages now. That Sylvester's a canny operator, isn't he? You're famous? I had no idea. It dawns me on how... It dawns on me how little I know of Sylvester in general. Only, again, you've only known him for a couple days. And yet you're already conspiring with him. And, and being a, taking him into the bed, uh, to, to his bedroom. How forward of you. Even though we're on such a secret mission together. <laughs> I'm not. Our music is. <laughs> well, that's splitting hairs, isn't it? Anyhow, Jack was at our concert the other day, so I simply invited him for a drink. I told him it'd be nice to play in the castle one day. Somehow the conversation went from me being invited to play, to me becoming his right-hand man. Huh. You must have a way with words. I believe I just happen to be on his good side by default. Not to mention my family's high status. Right, that'd help. Although there are some bad apples in our family tree. Huh? Like that, I like that turn of phrase. <laughs> I hope you'll find some excuse to visit me after your shift. If you know what I mean. Or before, if that's better. I'll try. Good. I'll see you tomorrow, Marion. Wait. Wait. Not sure I should wander around so much. No one's going to notice. I believe you'll be fine. You've done well so far. Still, should you not show up for a while, I'll come see you myself. How forceful. Please understand, this is for the sake of Toy Boxian. Toy Boxian, is that the name of the place? Yeah, I know. But I'll admit, I might just want to see you. Oh, you charm, are you? Huh? Yes, dear Marion, I simply can't take my eyes off of you. Oh my. What? You just might ruin our plan if I leave you alone. <laughs> nice save, Sylv. <laughs> ah, just say that in the first place. <laughs> Man. I really must be tired to joke around like this. We, we say our good nights, and I return to my room. I get to sleep for a few more hours. I'm, I'm telling you. If we're gonna hire more people, it should be servants. I still can't believe... Good morning! Good morning, Jack! And... Sylvester, pleased to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is all mine! Please, call me darling! Oh, that's an odd thing to say. I, I mean, Annette! <laughs> As you wish, Annette, darling. <laughs> Someone's a fan. Now get back to work. I'm here just to show Sylvester around. Can I come? Why would you want to? Because I wasn't shown around, that's why. Yeah, exactly. It's just that you never really showed me around. 
Did I not? If that's the case, I don't see why not. Fine. Since Sylvester said so. How obedient. Jack takes us around various areas. I remember me and Sylvester walking here earlier. Yes, I remember this screen. But we both act like we've never seen any of it before. Jack rambles on and on about everything. So, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This uh, this is widely cons considered a bad move. <laughs> it feels like forever, and there's not a hint of the king anywhere. Ta-da! Here we are! This place, we couldn't get past that door earlier. Now, this last room, I'm second-guessing whether to show you or not. This is it. All the answers should be behind this door. Yes, this is where I keep my porn stash. Probably. <laughs> we can come back another time, should you want to think about it some more. What is he saying? We have to get in there. Yeah, but he doesn't want to come on too strong. Hi to me, are you? Not at all. It's been the most interesting tour. It has? Well, alright. I'll show you. But only because I'm nice. Yeah, yeah, stroke your ego later, just open the door. And since you're going to be my right-hand man, you need to know. Open the door, damn you! And Marion... Huh? What? Yes? Don't you have work to do? No. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Right, of course. Oh man, I wanted to see... Click glance at Sylvester, but he's not looking my way. Are you ignoring me? Whatever is in that room, it m must be important. No doubts about it. I'm sure, Sil sure Sylvester will tell me all about it later. Well, it's certainly important to the whoever set up that door and all those locks and such, but is it important to us is the real question. Like, won't he? I go back to the kitchen like a good worker. And Ed is cooking happily. That's an oddly named dish. And Sylvester is such a good man. Is he? Is he? Yes, yes. It's been so long since I've seen someone so proper. I don't think he was all that proper. <laughs> Nonsense. She sure switched tone fast. Whatever happened to not wanting another useless mouth to feed? Bloody fangirls. I hope Sylvester makes a proper king out of Jack. You mean until the real king returns? I'm sorry, it's just been so long already. Do you believe the king will be back? I don't know, I hope he will. Yes, me too. Well, in either case, with really sound here, things are looking up. The smell of burnt food fills the room. Ah, I forgot about that. No, I was supposed to impress Sylvester with my cooking too. Today's dinner is extremely well done. Yes. Just, uh, this game, on the other hand, is a, is a medium game. It's, it's not rare and it's certainly not well done. <laughs> Sylvester told me to try and visit him at night. But I have so many words. Good evening, Marion. Glad you made it here. What's in the room? So what was in the room? The one with a lot of locks on it. In that room... Sylvester? He's traumatized by all the... All the horrific porn that was locked away in there. Things that were not meant for eyes to see. For human eyes to see. Things that were not meant for human minds to comprehend. Horrible, horrible things. For now, let me just say the king is alive. Oh, you cryptic fucker. What? That's great! Yes, it is good news. You don't look too happy. I'm sorry. I need to ask Jack some more questions before I can fully explain the situation. Well, okay. We should just come on and say what was inside. He's gotta be a cryptic bastard. Oh well. Thank you for visiting me. That's what we agreed on. 
Phil, it means a lot to me that you follow through with our plans. Are you used to spending time with someone who doesn't <laughs> always do that? Like, say, funny, perhaps? Funny seems like the sort of person that might not always follow through. I don't know. No problem. You are a good doll. Slightly odd thing to say, but alright. <laughs> <laughs> feels, a bit, feels like a bit of a weird thing to say, but it would be like me calling someone a good human. I don't know. A bit odd. Thanks? You're a good music box. If you say so. <sighs> Despite his calm and polite appearance, I get the feeling Sylvester is sad. Sylvester? Yes? Are you okay? I am fine. Thank you for asking. How about you, Marion? How are you? Small talk it is, then. I get the hint. He's not gonna tell me anything. I'm good, just a bit tired. Yes, it is rather late. Let's continue our chat another time. Yeah. We say our goodnights and I leave. I couldn't sleep. I kept wondering about the king. If he is alive, why isn't he here? He's been kept locked away. He's been kept locked away. So people don't see what's become of him. He's actually become a tentacle monster. And that's what all the vines are. His terrible tendrils. Ah. Also. Now, uh. At, well, at the very least, now we know for a fact that the king is in fact still alive. So all those people, uh, so all those Elvis truthers are vindicated. Good for them. Is he in that room? Almost certainly. Why was Sylvester being so secretive about it? We're supposed to be in this together. Ah, but it's not like I'm mad at him, it's just... I wish you'd tell me what he found out about the king. You're not mad, you're just disappointed. <laughs> Okay, okay, enough. I'm just going around in circles. Going around in circles. Going around in circles. Going round in. <laughs> Too early to go to work. But it'd be a good chance to visit Bunny. Eh. Alright. Bunny is still sleeping. Never mind then. <laughs> oh, whatever. We came all this way. I guess we might as well. Who cares? You can sleep all day anyway. Bunny! What? What's happening? Oh, it's just you. <sighs> what is it, dear? So that's where I started working here now. Uh, what? Silve this and silve that. Thanks for the status update, but do you have anything on the king? Well, Sylvester found something out, but he won't tell me yet. Suspicious. He's usually pretty willing to exchange information. Why are you putting that in quotation marks? Are you implying something? <laughs> are you calling him a loose man? Has he visited you? Nope. Why? Just wondering. Maybe Sylvester doesn't want Bunny to know anything. Maybe he's worried Bunny would break his cover by accident or something. Don't, doesn't want to be want to risk being seen coming down here. Or Bunny is lying. I don't know about that though. I hope that's not the reason he doesn't share information with me. I guess that's a possibility. Maybe the information maybe the information is so provocative that it that it might lead to me, to, uh, you know, lead me to distraction and lead to me doing something stupid, or something like that, I don't know. Say, is that food for me? Oh yeah, here you go. Thank you! I can't focus at all. Just want to know what's in the room. Uh, Tommy was out, that's what. Oh no! What's wrong? I messed up again! Try this recipe I thought Sylvester would like. But it's my first time, this looks so bad. You're trying too hard. 
You tried. I am, but I really want him to like my cooking. I think your regular cooking is great. But it's not fantastic! Again, you're trying too hard. Just... Why don't you just, like, on your own time, start uh, practicing these recipes so that, you, so that you're not trying to get them per Because no one's gonna be perfect on our first try, you know? It's better that you give them stuff that you've already- that you're already well practiced with, rather than risking this sort of thing. I don't know. Fantastic like Mr. Sound! You've seen him, like, twice. Yeah. Shush you, let me have this. I refuse. But, since the dinner failed, I'll cook up something better. Are you sure you have the time? Well, we might be a little late, but it'll be worth it. I'll let everyone know. Okay, but don't tell them it's my fault! Okay, okay. Excuse me. Sylvester and Jack are sitting around a pile of papers and books. It looks like an important strategy meeting, only it's taking place on the floor. What is it? Dinner will be late, so this so here's some tea and biscuits. Thank you kindly. Yeah, yeah. If that was everything. If we're not already, come on. Yes, goodbye. I close the door and make sure I walk down a few steps extra loud. <laughs> then I carefully climb back up as quietly as I can. Classic. Personally, uh, although... Uh, hmm. Never mind. Probably as I might, I can't really hear a thing through the door. Darn. Let us visit. Lady, open the door. They're supposed to be drinking tea. What's wrong? Actually, I forgot to mention one more thing. Sylvester closes the door before Jack sees me. Whoops. That was close. I leave at once. Sylvester looked pretty angry. I should have trusted Sylvester. Uh, should I have? I mean, maybe that was a bad idea, but... I mean, what reason do I have to trust Sylvester, you know? Has he ever given me any reason? For me to trust him? I mean, it's been like a couple of days. In fact, he's actively given me reasons not to trust him by, you know, keeping shit from me and all that. I don't really see a reason to t So, this... Sure. He isn't telling me everything. I'm here on my own mission. Of course I won't just sit and wait. I decide not to visit Sylvester tonight. He's probably angry at me. Uh, uh come in? <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> good evening, Marion. Doesn't look good at all. He's angry. He's totally angry. Good evening. Oh, what the fuck is this pose? Are you, are you trying to seduce him or something? What? I don't even know what to make of that. But alright. Good evening. <laughs> do you not trust me? No! I mean, no, that's not it. I do. Do you? Why? I do trust you. Why? Please understand this will take time. I will let you know everything when the time is right. <laughs> Could you at least let me know why you're not letting me know? <laughs> yes. Please do not try to advance the situation on your own. I should just wait? So I should just sit here with my thumb up my ass? Please, for goodness sake, how many times must I ask you to be civil? Who cares? Bunny sits in prison, I spend all day making pastries! How is this getting me any closer to fighting the king? Please don't raise your voice, it is late. I understand. Hmm? I'm sorry, this must be frustrating for you. If you're still willing to work with me, I would like to tell you something. Ah, finally. Of course. What is it? You have to promise me not to act on your own anymore. And you have to promise me you'll trust my way of handling things. 
I promise. I found the king. I assume so. And as I've said earlier, he is alive. Where is he? Is he okay? Mary. Uh, right. No, go on. The king is kept asleep. I stopped myself from launching another set of questions. Ah, uh, Sleeping Beauty, huh? He is... His Majesty is ill. Jack believes he'll recover with some rest. Oh. So it's... So it's like induced coma sort of thing. Interesting. What kind of illness is it? An illness of the mind. Of the line, huh? Or perhaps in his heart. What is he? <laughs> are, we are we talking about. Is this some sort of. Uh, dead. Is this some sort of thing like he's fucking heartbroken or something? <laughs> what kind of vague bullshit? I'm sorry. Do you not want to hear about it after all? Sorry, I do. It says. It's just said if he's ill, shouldn't we all know about it? The best doctor is to come and help his majesty. Yes, that is the thing, Marion. We can't tell the other toys. And that is because the vines... Uh, the vines? <gasps> I'm sorry, Marion. Can I tell you this some other time? Well, I'd like you to tell me now. I know. Please be patient. I'm still processing the information myself. I want to collect my thoughts and present them to you clearly. I can't give a crap if the presentation is clear. I just want to know what's going on! Bloody perfectionist. If we push now, he might not tell me anything anymore. Alright, I understand. I really don't, but alright. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell me later. It's almost morning already, anyway. Thank you, Marion. Being a little unreasonable. A little, yes. <laughs> so your patience is truly appreciated. Fine, just get your thoughts in order. Just, I can wait another day, or two, or ten, or a lifetime. Why not? Thank you. Until tomorrow. Good night. There he goes. And I'm left wondering what I just heard. The king is sick, but it's a secret? What, is it something contagious? And the vines are related? So they are poisonous? King turning into a jungle or what? Why didn't you just tell me? I can't sleep at all. All right. Well, that seems like a good place to stop. So yeah, learn that that the king lives. That he's in a in some kind of fucking sleeping state, like a, maybe induced coma or something, and something to do with the vines. I don't know. He me he mentioned the vines, but it wasn't in relation specifically to the king's illness. It was in relation to why they can't tell the other toys. I was just gonna assume that they couldn't tell the yeah, others because you might see this as a sign of weakness or something, and some other place might take over. But let's talk about the vines. Is it? Hmm. Curious. I really can't say what the deal is with this. Well, guess that remains to be seen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go transport crates full of unstable explosives over uh, un over choppy waters. So, until next time, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very P. And remember. Dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave an nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers. You're gonna be okay, kid.